everyone. I'm Deborah from the Northwest Dutch Oven Society and today I'm here to teach us about Dutch oven cooking. So I'm going to introduce what a Dutch oven is. These are camp Dutch ovens and they're made out of cast iron and they have legs on the bottom of them so that we can put them on a steel or metal surface so that we can put barbecue briquettes underneath for a heat source. That's what's going to cook our food. The lid is different also. It has a little lip in it called a flanged lid and you can put the coals in there, and I'm gonna show you that in a little bit, but that's, those coals will sit in there and so they don't fall off. So when we're cooking, they come in all kinds of sizes. These are small, these are very tiny, and I have great big ones, and you'll see some of the bigger ones later. So when I say coals, I mean barbecue briquettes. They're gonna make coals. So we're gonna just use Kingsford. You can use any brand you want, but we kind of find this one's a very stabilized heat source. We're going to put fire starters. These are just um, egg cartons with wax and dryer lint and um, sawdust in them and melted wax, um, like old candles or old crayons. And you make those in an old egg carton. And I broke off a couple here to put down in the chimney, chimney starter. So we want to use the chimney. We're going to put our briquettes in here. We could, instead of that, we could use um, lighter fluid. That helps the briquettes get started. And we're just going to take our um, little match and we're going to light those up and I'm not going to do some because I already got some ready for us over here. So I just wanted to show you that's how we cook with them. Those are our heat. Now if we were out camping and we didn't have briquettes, we could start a fire with regular wood, burn it down and get the coals, those embers, those glowing parts and cook with those. Um, you're going to need a shovel and maybe a pair of tongs because once those briquettes get hot, you can't touch them even with gloves on. So you kind of have to have something that you can move those around with. So those are some sources you can use to do that with. So tongs or uh, a shovel. And then once it gets really hot, we're gonna need some gloves. So you're gonna need some good leather gloves to pick up your cast iron because it gets super hot because it's an oven. And it's kind of like your skillets or any pots and pans on the stove. You've got to use something that's gonna keep your hands safe from the heat. So I use big gloves so I can lift or I can move the, the pot with. Um, so that you need that. And then we have specialized lifters. Um, so when the lid is very hot, that we can get that off of there. And this helps us lift our lid. So just like that, it's called a lid lifter. Then once our lid is off, we have to set it somewhere. And we want the bottom side to stay clean. So we don't want to set that on the ground because it's really hot. And if it still has coals on it, that could be a fire hazard. So we're gonna set that on a lid stand on the ground or wherever and keeps it up off the dirt and out of the pine needles and you won't start a fire. They have all kinds of different ones. I have a very large one. I have a medium sized one. They come in different sizes. You can also use a claw hammer if you have one. And always when you're cooking out with live fire, you make sure you have your fire extinguisher. So I'm gonna walk through some food over here that we're cooking in our Dutch ovens. Um, I've got some trout on. Um, I'm going to put another trout on for us. So I have just a fresh trout. So like if you were out camping and you went into the stream and you caught a fish, uh, you'd clean him. He's all gutted. And I didn't take his head off. You could if you don't like that. And you can cut the tails, but I don't dock them. Um, you're going to put him in cornmeal, a little flour, some salt and pepper if you'd like, and fry him in oil. Now, this skillet looks different. Look at that, it doesn't have a handle on it or nothing. Well, it's actually a Dutch oven lid that I've turned upside down with the lid stand. So I created the legs for it so I could get the heat under it. So that's why the lid um, is upside down. I'm cooking on it like a skillet. So these are very useful utensils. You don't have to have a skillet and a pot and pan. This utensil will work for everything. So our fish, I'm just about ready. I'm gonna turn him over and let him cook a little longer on that side. We had one going. And now we're gonna make what is everybody's favorite. If you didn't catch a fish, you make pizza. So I'm gonna take my lid off. See, I've got a lid lifter. And I've got some pizzas going in here, but I'm gonna do them super easy. I took some English muffins. So this is an English muffin, just like that. I split it open, put it in the pot. I bought some squeezy uh, pizza sauce and it's super easy, you just squirt it on there. As much as you'd like or as little as you'd like. And you know what, everybody gets to make their own so it's whatever you like on top of it. 
Well, I like ham and pineapple, so I'm going to do ham. Oh, I forgot the cheese. Silly me. Just mozzarella cheese or any cheese blend for your pizza. We're going to put some cheese on there. Got to have cheese on pizza. I know some people can't have cheese, so they eat it without. That's okay. It's whatever they like. There's our ham. Oh, I'm going to say maybe I like a little pineapple on my ham and pineapple. And some people do and some people don't, but that's okay. Everybody's different, and that's all right. What about, what, what's your favorite? Boys like pepperoni. Or you can leave a plain and just have cheese pizza like this one. So then we took our lid and we put it back on. I already had started these. There's our lid. So we've got some coals underneath, underneath where the legs are. And we've got coals on top. And remember, they're hot. So I just used my tongs to push them around wherever I need them. I'm gonna push these out to the lip and see how that lip on that lid holds those coals from falling off and onto my floor or onto my shoes or something crazy like that. And those won't take very long, maybe 15 or 20 minutes. Let's turn our fish over and see how he's doing. I think he's doing great. He's gonna take a little longer. He was a little bit bigger fish. I think this one might be ready. Let me get a plate real quick and we'll see if we can get him off of there. Got a clean plate. They have the fish laying on saran wrap on top of that. We don't want that to happen. And there's dinner. Let's see if we can get him to, if he's done. If he's done, he'll flake real easy like. And you just hold him up and you start back here. And he just flakes off. His skin just comes off. So he's all ready to eat, nice and flaky. And if you do real well, you can get the backbone to stay intact and you won't have to pick bones out. But always be careful when you eat fish because there's those little fish bones and those are not good to be swallowed. Oh, so now that we've done main dishes, either fish from the night or pizza because you didn't catch any fish, we need dessert. What are we gonna have? I baked us a cookie. Here's a cookie. It's just a chocolate chip cookie. I used a mix. Um, I took that into camp. It's just a powdered mix. A couple of eggs. And the butter. Mixed it up and put it in my Dutch oven. And now we have a cookie. I baked with about mm, five coals underneath. Because when you bake, you use less heat underneath. But when you had the top has to have a lot of heat like the pizza. So this oven's cool. I can touch it. I'm going to tip it out and we're going to show you what the cookie looks like. That's a nice big giant cookie and you have to share with your friends. So I'm going to sign off. Thanks for sharing with us and we hope you enjoyed this video.